we need to talk about Turkmenistan. The country has recently become unusually popular with Western comedians. It's thanks to the antics of its leader, President Kurbanguli Berdo Mohamedov, who is known to be a dentist by education. His regime is a striking example of a personality cult. According to state media, the president is a designer and driver of race cars, a talented musician, a writer of books about horses, a sportsman, and boy can he lift things. But there is a dark side to all that, something that media often overlook. And this is why we need to talk about Turkmenistan. The country is right behind North Korea for lack of press freedom in the world. Freedom House gives it a zero out of 40 for political rights and civil liberties. And the economy isn't doing much better. If you're there right now, good luck finding sugar, cooking oil or eggs. If you need bread, there's a limit of two loaves per day. If you need cash, run to the closest ATM and hope the line moves quickly before it's emptied. In 2018, the government cancelled subsidies on gas, electricity, water and salt that had been in place since the early 90s. But only in Turkmenistan could a decision like this be received like this. So the censorship and the economic hardship have motivated plenty of people to leave. It's estimated that about one third of Turkmen have done that. But recently, the government has started to crack down on that, not letting people board flights to Turkey, for example. So you can't leave, but you need a job to pay for the eggs, if you can find one. But the unemployment rate is believed to be at least 60%. And this state of things remains unchallenged by anyone. Why? Well, Turkmenistan keeps a low profile. It's officially a neutral country. It goes so far as to not ask help in times of disasters. So for the surrounding countries, it's a perfect neighbor, a nice buffer zone. The neutrality is honored in practice. The president has shown no willingness to join any Western security pacts. US troops won't really go there, which calms Iran. Russia is also giving Turkmenistan a lifeline, signing deals to import Turkmen gas, even though it doesn't really need it. A recent deal was on 5.5 billion cubic meters. And Berdo Muhammadov, while great at lifting things, doesn't seem a very skilled negotiator. Even though he would like a Trans-Caspian gas pipeline to export to the West, he hasn't made much progress. This suits Azerbaijan and other gas exporting neighbors, they will make the profit instead. And at the end of the day, at least there's enough money for the statues.